How you all doing? We're back. So I hope everybody watched the Champions League game. Because boy oh boy. Did we have some games. First I gotta say. Liverpool have been excellent all season. But boy they're a whiny little bunch of bitches. You gotta, you gotta be kidding me when you keep on complaining about how Atleti play. Atleti played two game plan, more energetic. Liverpool were lethargic. They're lucky to beat West Ham, by the way. And I know most Liverpool fans will start arguing with me, but honestly, if you play like that in Anfield against Atleti, Atleti through without a doubt, no questions asked. So, yeah, they were lucky. I don't care whatever you say. By just to lose one nothing, but let's get past that. I think we gotta men- give a special mention to Man City. Boy, you got to the Santiago Bernabeu and you win two one at Madrid. Unbelievable! Ramos suspended for the second leg, so Real's best defender not available. I feel for Ayamik Laporte. He's City's best defender, arguably one of the best defenders in the world, up there with Van Dijk. Yes, I said Van Dijk. But he's up there with him. And honestly, City without him, they look shambolic at the back. But with him, they are excellent. I'm not going to talk about Man U, guys. Don't worry. Uh, most of you might be complaining. He's going to be ten more about Man U. I'm not going to do that. Let's look at Leon and Juve. Leon and Juve. Ronaldo was brought in to win the Champions League. But boy, he's by himself up front. Everybody behind him. It's crap. They can't create a chance for him. Or at least tee it up. They're just playing long balls. Sari ball isn't working, as we all knew and expected. And Juve are going to win Serie A, without a doubt. Hopefully Lazio can bring a surprise, but who knows. Then, who do we have? We got one more game. Anybody can take a wild guess. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh... Who cares? By the way, I got to give up my best to Man City. Their performance was amazing and excellent. I don't care about the fourth game, to be honest with you. It's not that I don't remember. These three games made more of a difference to me because they were English games. That fourth game was Chelsea getting destroyed by Bayern. There's literally nothing to say. Bayern was just too good. Could have been six or seven. And Sergio Gnarby... Tony Pulis literally said, I got flack. I ate my words and I'm really happy for that because he proved me wrong. He is by far one of the best swingers and he seems to love playing in London. But it seems to destroy any London-based team, which is kind of a bit hilarious by itself. So Chelsea are out. No point even bothering ourselves with that. But City winning at the Bernabeu. And I have to say, this is an impressive result. So, let's see what Madrid can do in the second leg. But I have my money on City. You got two away goals. Good luck, because Madrid, even if they win one nothing, they're still out. They got to score twice at the Etihad. And at home, City are pretty much very, very strong. Almost invincible. Now, you'll say that United have won there twice, but yeah. United, uh, United had their luck over there. But that, yeah, that performance tells you something. If this team was consistent, where would they have been all season? But that's life, you know. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And Liverpool had the luck of the draw. They've had so many close games that have gone their way. And we know Klopp is still going to bitch and moan, regardless of anything, and his players. So... Honestly, I would love to see an English team win, but Liverpool and their fans are just annoying. So, I'm going to be hoping Atleti go through. But we'll find out right here again next week. I'll see you again for the weekend games. Adios. Bye.